Hey, Julia. Hey, Stephen. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Good, good. Thanks for jumping on this call about Northern California uh, destinations for camping and uh, outdoor activity. So it's good to have this, this uh, conversation. Yeah, I'm so excited for the summer weather and getting back outside. Oh my God, can't, can't wait to be outside, especially now that we can actually go outside and like go places. <laughs> I mean, it's a great uh, year to really explore all the things that are just within a day's drive from the Bay Area. Yeah, I mean, during during the lockdown, you know, Steve and I, we did so much exploration in the, like, in the immediate Bay Area, the San Francisco, Marin, and East Bay, but we had we did not get to go camping last year, which we really missed out on because um, we loved going camping. And uh, Julia, did you you grow up? Did you grow up camping and doing a lot of that? Yeah, I spent my primary school years actually in Sebastopol, so we did a lot of camping, like on the Russian River and out in Bodega and those spots. So it's it's still something I love to do. It's really nostalgic. It's really fun. Cool. Do you do you have a favorite uh, campground that you that you went to, or did you go to? Yeah, um, I mean, I think my favorite in the Sonoma County area is Schoolhouse Canyon. It's right off the Russian River um, and it goes pretty deep into the woods and it's just really nice for if you want to go spend the day swimming at the river and they have really great um, fire pits. They have cute little s'mores kits at the lodge and everything. So it's like a really nice family spot, which I enjoy. Oh, nice. We haven't been to that one. Uh, we've gone to, in Sonoma, we've done, um, Sam, Sam Taylor National Park. Is that? That's in Marin. Marin. It's in, it's in, yeah, it's on, it's on the way up. Um, that's the only one that we, that's the biggest one that we've done around that area. And that one's really lovely. It's not on a river. I mean, it's on like a, I think a stream. Um, but it's not, you can't go swimming anywhere. That sounds really nice. Yeah. Yeah, but Sam Taylor, uh, some of them have these, uh, they, they are, it's in a redwood forest. And my favorite parts, I, I don't know what the technical term is, but when when a redwood tree die and the new trees grow around it from, from its roots, then it forms a circle. I want to say it's like a fairy ring or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you could put your tent. I feel like that's not, not, that's not the technical term of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there, there's yeah anyway so you put a tent right in the middle and you're just like in this little this it protected grow, yeah. uh yeah it just feels really magical yeah that sounds amazing yeah they're, they're, yeah sam taylor has several of those campsites if you can snag them early enough which are really cool um camping areas yeah, we, used to, we used to go to, go there a lot with our, with our friends pre-kids since kids, we've gone to mostly like the KOAs and stuff because they have so much, so many kid-friendly options. Yeah. Our school did, um, our, our preschool used to do glamping down in uh, Watsonville at one of the KOAs. And you could rent out this like huge bouncy thing that was like, they would blow up for the kids. And I think there was like a petting zoo. I can't remember. I think there's a petting zoo. There's like a train ride. Um, a pool, just like so much, so many kid friendly options. And they had both tent sites and then also like cabins of all different calibers from like the rustic cabins to um, airstreams and like ones that had TVs in them. Yeah. So I love fun. glamping too. It's sometimes it's nice to get the outdoor nature feel without having to commit to sleeping on the ground. <laughs> One of the big things I've been wanting to do for a while is you can go glamping at the, oh, I forget the name of it. It's the um, the, the Safari West up in Marin, I think. Oh, wow. It's Noma, yeah. It's, yeah, you can, they, you can do overnights in the Safari and do glamping packages there. I think, so that's, that's on our bucket list. Yeah, I think my glamping bucket list is uh, the Ventana tents down in Big Sur. I've heard of those. Oh, that sounds, those ones sound beautiful. Yeah, it sounds amazing because you're still like, you know, right in the redwoods and you can get to the beach and everything, but there's heated marble bathrooms at the same time. So it's kind oh, of wow. like the best of both worlds. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, we went down to the Big Basin one time down in, near that area. Yeah. I think unfortunately a lot of the historic structures have burned down recently. So. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, for, for me, one of the most magical places I've been to for, for that uh, is up in Lassen. So now in the, in the Sierras, in the north east corner of the state. And it's apparently one of the darkest places you can, uh, or the darkest sky you can see in California due to, uh, you know, the, the mountains blocking out the light pollution. And so, you know, I, I didn't even realize until I was 25 that you could see Milky Way in the sky. <laughs> it was like, it was so magical. It was like, it was there the whole time, never seen it before. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have some stargazing spots and we have some really great meteor showers coming up this summer too. So it'd be nice to get out and check that out. Um, do, do you follow the stars and everything? <laughs> Uh, I, a little bit mainly like full moons just because I find them like really pretty like a good moonrise but I definitely can't I can't stay on track of all the astrological events did, yeah. did, you, did you see the double moon or not the double moon the, the star of Bethlehem or whatever a couple months ago no um, I didn't uh that was that was really cool it was um the two planets I think it's Mars and Jupiter or something or Jupiter, Jupiter and Saturn and they were like right next to each other and it was like Next time it's gonna happen is like seventy years. But wow, um, do you have any big? Uh, do you have any plan plan trips coming up for the summer already? No, no, not not really camping wise. Normally we do like in the early summer. Um, there's Alice Eastwood Campground, mm -hmm. which is like fifteen minute drive from my house. It's you know in Muir Woods National Park. Um, which is really amazing because it's a bit of a hike, but you can actually hike down to, there's the steep ravine campground too, but it's really hard to get a spot there. It's very competitive because they have the hot springs. Um, oh, nice. You can get into at low tide. And Alice Eastwood, you can still camp down to the hot springs and that's normally our like big group trip because it's a very large campsite. I think it can fit up to 75 people, which is obviously not pandemic friendly, but <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful that when everybody gets vaccinated, we'll be able to do a, a little more outdoor get togethers like that. Yeah, uh, really cool, yeah. Yeah, two, two of the ones I wanna try out next are uh, over at Pinnacles, because uh, there are California condors there that you can try to spot. And, uh, and of course the rock formations are amazing uh, to try to hike and see. And the other one is over in Point Reyes in the autumn, you could boat over into some campsites. And then while you're boating in the, on a moonless night, it's, you see the bioluminescence. Oh, amazing. I didn't actually know that we had that here in California. Um, yeah, we're so lucky, I guess. Don't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I mean, I guess I hope everyone gets to experience California, Northern California's beautiful outdoors um, this year. And um, yeah, and have a great summer. Yeah. Thanks, Julia. Thanks, Stephen. Chatting with you guys. Bye.